brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. Um, so my name is Trish Rogers. Uh, I hope everyone's had a great afternoon so far. I am an attorney at Moy White in Denver, and I want to dive in a little deeper with you guys today about what we all have in common. When people ask me where I'm from, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to answer. I went to eight different schools in six different states, including a move this, before my senior year of high school. I, uh, I've lived in four countries. I uh, earned my undergraduate degree in two different languages. I am a military brat. So what does that mean? Well, for one thing, it means I have all of my clocks set to 24-hour time. I um, am usually always early to meetings. I speak equally well with a southern accent as I do a Boston accent. And I'm freakishly good at bowling. And if any of you have lived on a military base, you know they all come with bowling alleys. But what does that really mean? Well, what it really means is I've been ripped out of my comfort zone a lot more than most people. I've moved around a lot. I've had to adapt and change quite a bit growing up. Growing up in elementary school, I spent most of my time on Air Force bases, where the dividing line was not color or religion, but the rank of your parents. I moved in elementary school from Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma to Pearl City, Hawaii. I learned how to play the ukulele, how to surf, how to speak pidgin English, but it was hard for a little blonde, howly girl to fit in. In seventh grade, I then moved from Hawaii to Stone Mountain, Georgia, in the middle of December. Coming from Hawaii, I was used to wearing a sundress and windbreaker during the, the wintertime, so imagine not fitting in. And then my senior year, I moved to Connecticut. I moved around a lot. I adapted to what was going on in my environment. I took on the habits of people that I knew and, and people that I wanted to meet. But the one constant thing I took with me through all those changes is that I played soccer, and I played it well. Today, I can go anywhere in the world, and if there's a pickup game of soccer going on, I can ask, and I often do, hey, can I join? And you know what? The answer has never been no. Because I've had something in common with, something, with someone, and when you have something in common with someone, it opens doors, it starts conversations, and it can generate great relationships. So fast forward to here and now. The other week, I got an email from an entrepreneur in Taiwan who wanted to set up a public benefit corp here in the US. And she emailed me out of the blue. She said she got my name off the benefit corp website. And of all the corporate attorneys in the US that she could have emailed, she emailed me because, and this struck me in her email, she said she thought I would understand her. And you know what? I did. At least I understood that she wanted to run a business as a force for good. She told me she wanted to become a B Corp when she got here to the US. I was excited because she is using part of the profits from her company to educate schoolgirls in Nepal. And I immediately wanted to connect her with other like-minded advisors, vendors, people I knew would also understand her and be able to help her. So why is that important to me or to you? Well, it's kind of one of the reasons we're here today. You see, what I realized in connecting her and in, in the conversation with her and other people I've met, because in part we're a B Corp, is being part of a B Corp is just like playing soccer. I can go to anywhere in the world, and if I see a B Corp symbol, I know the people I'm about to meet, I have at least one thing in common with, and likely more. It's something that opens doors, starts conversations, and can generate great relationships. Think about it. You can walk up to anyone here in this room without knowing them and without wondering if you're going to fit in or feel kind of like <laughs> a freak. Say, hey, guys, do you have any advice for me on how I can help my colleagues do a better job of recycling? Right? And you can ask that question without being intimidated because you know we're all part of B Corps and we all get it. So I leave you with this. When you walk into a room and you don't know people, you might not be carrying your soccer ball with you, but you have one of these. And I encourage you to put it on and see if it just might 
open some doors, start some conversations, and help you generate some great relationships. Thanks very much, y'all. I hope you have a great afternoon. <laughs>